I'm Professor Claire Hopkins, President of the British Rhinological Society, and on behalf of the BRS I'd like to welcome you all to this e-module. This is a club that no one wants to be a part of, but we've been living in unprecedented times that have seen a dramatic increase in the number of people living without their sense of smell and taste. The BRS are proud to be able to partner with Absent to help provide better support and education for all patients living without a sense of smell and taste regardless of the underlying cause. Since mid-March, ENT surgeons across the world have noticed an increase in the number of patients presenting with sudden loss of smell and taste in the absence of any other underlying cause. We noticed this first in Iran, then Italy, and then in the UK, mirroring the incidence of the COVID-19 pandemic and leading us to suspect that COVID-19, like other viruses, could directly damage the sense of smell and taste. In the last three months, as a result of huge international collaborative research, We've been able to prove that COVID-19 can indeed cause this damage and we've learned much about the disease. We know that a patient presenting with sudden loss of smell and taste in the last three months is almost certainly likely to be suffering with COVID-19 infection. More than 19 out of 20 patients will test positive. Of patients that have COVID-19, we know that at least 50% will develop loss of smell and taste. This is more common in patients with mild disease, with about two thirds of patients reporting loss of smell and only about one third of patients with more severe disease. We don't really yet understand if this is simply because those who are more severely affected are perhaps too ill to notice their loss of smell and taste. It's more common in females and more common in those under 40, but actually very rare in children under 10. We know that patients who have lost their sense of smell as a result of COVID-19 in 90% of cases will recover quite quickly, regaining normal smell and taste within the first two weeks. And in this group, we think it's related to damage to the olfactory epithelium, the lining of the nose where odours have to bind. In the other 10%, it will likely last for longer, often taking weeks or months before patients start to recover. This can often be associated with parosmia, unpleasant distortion of smell, as the smell nerves start to recover. But we are confident that most patients will see recovery as the olfactory nerves have a unique ability to be able to regenerate. There are now over 10 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 worldwide. This means that over 5 million patients will have lost their sense of smell and taste, albeit in many only temporarily. But there are at least half a million patients who are suffering with persistent loss of smell and taste. This comes at a time where many ENT practices have shut down or have very restricted access. And many primary care doctors will be unfamiliar with how to help provide support. So these e-modules have been set up to try and help fill that gap to provide support and education for patients so that they can self-manage their conditions. Many patients may find it difficult to get support from their families. who simply find it very hard to understand what's going on. So also it's very important to be able to reach out to other patients in the same condition and support each other at this very difficult time. 